This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very special guest this morning is Matt Smith, who is president of the Greater Pittsburgh Chamber of Commerce. Matt, it's great to have you on the show this Sunday morning. Thank you for being with us. Great to be with you, John. So I wanted to have you on the show to talk to us a little bit about something called the CNI rate, the Corporate Net Income Tax Rate. And before everyone's eyes glaze over, we should note that the state legislature and the governor came to an, an important agreement about this business tax that has been driving business away from our region. Tell us a little bit about what exactly is the corporate net income tax. Yeah, it's the tax that uh, C corps pay in Pennsylvania, and right now, John, it's nine point nine percent, which is the highest non-graduated rate in the United States, and and we came to discover that really over the last 25 years that that rate is a blinking red light for business investment um, within the Commonwealth. And so in the Pittsburgh region, we are particularly acutely negatively impacted because Ohio has no corporate tax. And so Ohio frequently markets into southwestern Pennsylvania. Hey, come to Ohio. You don't have to pay a corporate tax here unlike Pennsylvania, where there's a 9.9% rate. So in many ways, as I said, it's a blinking red light for business investment. And the good news is that the state legislature and the governor came to an, an agreement to reduce this tax. I know Governor Wolf has wanted to cut it, and so have the Republican-led legislators. What's the, the agreement, and how quickly will this make a difference? Yeah, it'll make an immediate difference. And, and let me just go to it. It's a historic agreement. Um, number one, it's a bipartisan agreement. As you mentioned, Governor Wolf, all of the legislative leaders who deserve an, deserve an enormous amount of credit in our area, uh, Majority Leader Kim Ward and, and Democratic Leader Jay Costa, just to name two, they deserve an enormous amount of credit for coming to this agreement. And what it will do is over the course of the next decade, it will, it will cut in half that 9.9% rate. So it will ultimately get us down to 4.9%, which is going to take us from literally the worst rate in the nation to the very top of the class, probably ultimately in the top five. And so we think it's a really significant and historic move. And it sends the signal to uh, site locators, site selection locators. It sends the signal to businesses within Pennsylvania that policymakers are really getting serious here about putting Pennsylvania in the stadium on the playing field to be competitive for these large scale business investment projects. As I understand it, the it's going to be phased in over a number of years, as you pointed out, and the first phase in begins this coming year in January, a 1% drop um, from, uh, I guess, 9.9 .9 to what, 8.9. Yes. Is that really going to make a difference right away for the Pittsburgh region? Yeah, I think it will. And the, and the reason is that that 4.9% rate is really key. That's locked in via statute in this year's tax code. So it's now Act 53 of 2022. And the fact that that is locked in via statute sends, again, the market a signal that we're really serious about getting our business tax structure in order. And it allows for businesses to plan. Uh, as you know, John, businesses crave predictability. And what this phase down does is provide them with the predictability as to what the corporate rate will be each year. So I think even though it is a phase down and it'll take a little while to get to that rate, the fact that we've landed on a statutory built-in rate of 4.9%, which again, cuts the 9.9% rate in half, uh, which is historic progress, is really significant for business investment in the Commonwealth. Final question, and we only have a couple of seconds left here. This will cost the state some money because we have generated revenue, lots of money, millions of dollars from this. Is there any concern that that loss is going to be hard to make up in other we, ways? We really think that the economic growth that is created and making us more competitive is, is going to lead to additional economic growth, and that will in turn lead to increased tax revenue. And we know from our internal studies that over the last 20 years, Pennsylvania has collected 5.3% uh, 
of tax revenue relative to GDP. So in years where there were new taxes, tax rates increased, we still only collected 5.3% of GDP. So growing the economy is really the most sustainable way to grow tax revenue. Well, Matt Smith, president of the Greater Pittsburgh Chamber of Commerce, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. Congratulations on this lowering of a tax. Much appreciated. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Great to be with you, John. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.